Hey guys, I'm actually recording. Uh, this is a an M1330 uh, Dell XPS motherboard. I had it come through today uh, with no power. So I, I started looking around the board. If you guys have this issue, make sure you check out right here next to the port. Let's see if I can focus, maybe. Anyway, right here next to this port, you see that little L, L3 right here? Um, gets actually a micro fracture. I noticed it when I was actually testing the connections. I actually noticed it, you can kind of see it right in here. I actually noticed it when I was actually using the multimeter today. It actually sparked because I actually made the connection um, myself. So I was going to go ahead and solder this and this might actually be the big reason I see these come through. I actually have two other boards that are just parts uh, because I couldn't figure it out before and I kind of just was going through this and just randomly figured that out. That is part of the, the fuse for the AC adapter that runs through the board. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this real quick. I already put some flux on there, and we'll test it and see if that fixes it. Okay, so I went ahead and soldered it. You can actually see here I put on a little more than usual just because after noticing the way it flexes, that is like the prime spot for it to flex. And I think that solder probably cracked from just people, you know, putting the solder, oh, I'm sorry, the solder hat, putting the uh, AC adapter in and out kind of, maybe sitting with it where that kind of bends down, probably was bending this board. So I went ahead and just put a bunch of flux, some good solder on there. Looks like it's, it's on there pretty well now. Um, everything seems solid, so that should hopefully fix it. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and we'll take a look. Okay, so we're going to do a quick test. I just went ahead and put the, the board back in the casing. Um, I just hooked up the uh, LED strip power button. Uh, I did put the battery in just to see if we could have an indication of any kind of charge. And then this is the board that goes to the battery so it's all pushed down. Should get a front LED here. Hopefully this is after I just soldered that micro fracture on that on that part of the board that seems to be a common issue. So plug it in. Uh, great. Looks like we have an actual charge. I guess that means that okay yeah that means that the battery is like completely dead. Or if there's a problem with the battery. But this wouldn't even turn on before so that's a good sign no lights or anything. Um, so let's try to I'm not going to do it too long because I don't have a heat sink on. I just want to see if I can power. There we go. We have power. All right. Uh, anything, no RAM, no nothing in there, so it's not going to post, but I will just turn this off. So I'm probably just going to unplug the... I don't want it to heat up too much yet. So check out that, that uh, IC on the board if you are having problems like I was with this. Um, originally, I thought maybe it was the charge port, but everything tested fine. So check out that IC right next to where the port is for cracked solder because that seems to be a common issue for what I'm seeing online um, with these ones. I guess how small they are, that's where all the stress is. So check it out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks, guys.